John Paul used to say, there's no coincidences. I came home at Christmas, as I've done the last three years since retired, said Mass in some parishes, my home parish, felt good, preached, and uh, began to feel what I thought was a little motion sickness that I had felt before. And, and I got some medication from my wonderful doctors in Fort Wayne and um, didn't help. I maybe had a little stroke because I, I tried to say Mass on the 28th. I couldn't read. I got out and, and everything was jumbled. And so um, I thought maybe a little stroke, I'm 80. So I went to St. Elizabeth's where I was born. Never had a night in a hospital in 80 years. They kept me there that night and I don't want any more. They found cancer. And when the doctor came to me, I said, um, I said, I'm a, I'm a good specimen. He said, you have cancer of the lung. That's the primal place, and it has spread to the brain. So they, they, they picked that off within a few hours and, and uh, did all the testing. And St. Elizabeth is linked to Dana-Farber, which is a great cancer place. So our doctor is, is under Dana-Farber. So then they said 15 radiations. We got, that may be cut down a little, we hope. Mm -hmm. And then to go back out, my hope is still to go back out and have some time in Fort Wayne. And my dear sisters and my longtime assistant, Maureen Schott, are here, and they're getting me every day to the treatment. I trust his providence, I see in his providence that he brought me, not for me, but for my sisters, that he brought me to them at this time. Well, we could have gotten the word from Fort Wayne and you'd, how frantic you'd be and how upset you're 800, 900 miles away. and. Well, when we brought him up to the hospital that day, I mean, they brought him up to the emergency. Could be a piece of cake. And then when they said overnight, I said, why overnight? They said, because he has blurred vision. And then when we heard the, the, the diagnosis, I don't think it, I comprehended it because he had Maureen on the telephone. I don't think she comprehended it either. It's a shock because he'd been so healthy. He'd been so healthy. I feel pretty good. I haven't had a lot of pain. I feel some weakness. I'm eating very well, sleeping pretty well. I appreciate the prayers of everyone from all over, but especially from the diocese that I loved and still love and try to serve. Tremendous number of letters from children. I've had phone calls. Uh, I'm not the best emailer in the world, <laughs> but Maureen has, when Maureen came, she set up our email, and we've had a lot of beautiful letters. I've had a lot of visits from priest friends that I've known all my life. I've been to the Holy Sacraments, and um, went to confession today to a, a priest friend of mine of 60 years. I, I do hope to get back to Fort Wayne for, for some days. I really am grateful to God to have been bishop of that diocese.